What if one minute on a cell phone was equal to the same DNA damage as a chest x-ray? In other words, would people curb their behavior if two hours a day on a cell phone was equal to 120 chest x-rays? Well, that's what this study, the reflex study by the European Commission, really looked at. It compared DNA damage from a cell phone versus chest x-rays. Now, know that this is a very legitimate study. Uh, a professor by the name of Franz Adelkoffer out of Germany uh, headed the study, but it went across 12 different institutions and it was funded by the European Union for over 3 million euro, which is over $3 million. And as you can see here, they used a low amount of radiation, far below what the FCC says is safe, far below what smartphones actually use. And they used the DNA damage method of comet assay to determine and to see how much strain breaks, how much DNA damage was happening from the cell phone use and the chest x-rays. In analyzing the cell phone side, they used 24 hours of exposure at 1800 megahertz, which is 1.8 billion waves per second or hertz as the frequency. And they use, again, they use a low intensity of 1.3. Uh, the FCC says up below four is safe. So this is well below, again, what cell phones are literally using. Not to mention they also use a continuous wave, not a pulsed wave like a cell phone uses. A continuous wave causes less subatomic chaos, and less harm to uh, its subjects if you look at the studies. For the chest x-ray side of things, they used 500 millisievert, okay? That's equal to hundreds and hundreds of chest x-rays uh, for that kind of ionic radiation. So with that, what is the $3.3 million conclusion? Hold the phone, stop the presses, holy freaking cow, look at this, 24 hours on a cell phone, was equal to the same DNA damage as 1,600 chest x-rays. So the first slide that we saw today, that's literally what they concluded as going on. And once again, I remind you, that's 12 institutions participated in this study. And shortly after this, many countries started changing their own laws and not allowing cell phones in elementary schools, not allowing Wi-Fi in elementary schools, and making all the kinds of other changes. And as you can see on this slide, a normal DNA looks like the first one on the left. It doesn't have any speckles and strand breaks. The one that's the 1600 chest x-rays amount of radiation, you can see the strand breaks. You can see how it's kind of smeared on the right. And then you can see the 24 hours of cell phone. Boy, they look very close, almost identical. But there's great news. You don't have to worry about this. You can have total peace of mind for you and your family because we at EMF Solutions own cell phones and we totally believe this is a remediatable problem. So you need to remediate your cell phone and of course EMF Solutions cell chip, nothing on the market, not even close, tests as good as our products. So we invite you to have a solution that works.